Hello all, my name is Krishnag and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today in this video, we'll be discussing how to deploy an NLP model in cloud platform like Heroku. And here I'm also going to use a Flask framework for doing the deployment part. Now many of you have been waiting for many days. Uh, I'm sorry about that because guys, I was a little bit busy, but now I'll continue the deployment playlist and I'll show you how to deploy NLP model. Then I'll in my next video, I'll come up with how to deploy a deep learning model. So everything will be covered. Everything will be covered with all the steps, all the code will be given to you and all the steps will also be given to you. Now, first of all, uh, let us see some of the code, like what exactly the problem statement is all about. So the problem statement is all about like, uh, we are basically creating a spam ham classification NLP model. Okay. And uh, the data set is basically given in this spam.csv. And again, again, remember guys, if you want the complete code, I've, I'll, I'll put this whole code in the GitHub and uh, the code for training your data is basically commented over here. Okay. So what you can do is that uh, if you want to train your model, first of all, select all this particular code and paste it over here. Okay. And just try to run it so that your model file gets created like how I've created over here. So to begin with, first of all, we'll go and read this data set. Okay. So after reading this data, okay, sorry, we are having some trouble with respect to uh, libraries. So let me just import some of the libraries that we require. So I'm just going to import all the libraries. So for that, I'll just select it from here. Okay. And uh, so that I can directly use all these libraries very easily. I don't require flask, but all the other libraries, I'll just take it over here. I'll uh, paste it over here and I'll just select all these things and I'll select all. Okay. Now when I am importing the libraries, guys, just focus on the code because this code is a simple, uh, you know, where we have implemented natural language processing on the data set that is span.csv and this particular data set, if you see this data set, if I just execute it and if I show you the data set over here, this is a data set where I have information like class and message and these all are NAND values. I'll be considering these two values over here and based on this particular message, we'll try to train a model to indicate whether this is a spam or a ham and uh, this particular model uh, will, if I show you how it will work in Flask framework and the API. Uh, it, it, it is giving us very good error. So let us go ahead and try to first of all read it. Then I've dropped some of the columns, done all the steps, did the train test split and after that finally created a multinomial algorithm, implemented a multinomial algorithm for all these things. Okay. Now after you execute this whole thing, if you go and see in your file explorer, right? There will be a NLP underscore model dot PKL file that will be created. And this particular model file, we have to deploy it in the Heroku platform. And guys, if you don't know about this thing, how to basically create an NLP model, please go and watch my NLP playlist there. I have uploaded videos regarding it. All the concepts has been uploaded. Um, I've explained it very nicely all over there. So you can basically refer that. Now, when I go to app.py, now the main thing is that I have to create a flask framework. So for that, I'll be importing flask. And apart from that, I'll be loading this NLP model dot PKL file. Okay. So make sure that you make your code commented because this is the code, which is used for training. Okay. The main thing is that, uh, I'll just load this NLP model. I'll also load the pickle for the transform dot pickle. See guys, remember when I go over here, right? If you, if you, if you go into the next file over here, I have also this count vectorizer, right? This, this is the, this is the library that we are basically using in order to create the vectors from the text. Okay. So I'm also creating a pickle file for this so that I can directly use it over here and transform my text, new text image whenever I get it. Okay. So make sure that you have to create two pickle file. One is your count vectorizer, which I am named as CV over here. And this is named as transform.pickle. And here you can also see that there is a pickle file, which is called as transform.pickle. Okay. So save it in the form of pickle files and try to reuse over here. So I'm loading both the pickle files. That is my transform.pkl and my NLP underscore model. After that, I'll start my flask app and here <clears throat> I have basically used two HTML file. One is home.html file. If I go and show you the home.html file, it is present inside templates folder. And if I see the home.html file, there is just a simple text box where you will be able to put your text message. Okay. After the prediction is happened. So initially when you will just write slash with along with the URL, your homepage will get opened. 
But after that, when you fill the text box and click the button, it will go and hit this particular URL where I am basically taking the post uh, in the form of post. I'm taking the message and for that message, I'll be transforming with the help of this CV that is count vectorizer, which I have uploaded over here. Okay. I have uploaded the pickle file. You remember this. So what I'll be doing is that I'll be taking up this values and I'll be converting this into array. Finally, I'll be getting the vectors after getting the vectors. I have to just use this classifier of multinomial name bias and I will just do the predict. So after predicting will render the template of result.html. So result.html you can see over here. Uh, I, have, I, have, I have basically written whether they have to display spam or not a spam and result will basically say us whether it is spam or not a spam. So what we will do is that we'll try to execute it quickly so that will give you an idea like how it will work. Okay. So let me just go to the Anaconda prompt. I just make sure that you are in the right path and from there. So this path is basically where my code is present. Then what I can do is that I can basically write Python dot app dot py. See, make sure that you have this app dot py is your file name, right? Here you can see app dot py is basically your file name. I'm just going to save it and let me just execute it. So after executing what will happen, it'll take some time, you know, the flask framework will create, get created. And this is the URL that you have to hit on. And this is just local flask. After this, I'll be showing you how to do the deployment. Okay. So don't worry about that. So once I execute it, now this has rendered my home.html. This is basically giving you a text box where you can write the message. And after cl clicking the predict button, right? What will happen is that after you click the predict button, it will go and hit this particular URL or this particular function because slash predict is basically my uh, post method over here. And over here only we are basically determining whether the model is a ham or a spam. Okay. So here it is. I'll just go and write down that. Uh, I'll just try to write some spam message like credit card one. So this looks like a, a spam message. Let's see. Yes, we are getting a proper message saying as spam. Let us try some other things like uh, I'll just write uh, a good message. Hello. How are you? Now when I do predict here, you can see that it is a spam. It is not a spam, right? It is a ham. So pretty much the model is working very well. Now what I'll do is that I will just go to my Heroku platform. So make sure that you have an Heroku login ID and in the uh, Heroku login ID, what I'll do is that you just go and click on new. So I'll just go and click on new app. I'll be creating a new app and I'll say that NLP test model. So first of all, it'll give us some error. So make sure that you write a very good name and it should be in small case. So NLP test model, I'm going to create that app. You can choose any region that you want. Most probably you just select, uh, uh, you know, USA. But before that, uh, there are various re uh, ways how you can do it. One is through command line interface, GitHub and container registry. Container registry is basically when you want to basically use Docker. I'll be explaining about this. I'll also be explaining uh, about command line interface. Let us just do the normal one. What I'll do is that first of all, I use GitHub. Now GitHub is already linked over here. What you can do is that in the GitHub, you just go and put down the code. Now in the GitHub, I have actually put down the code. Okay. And if you go and see my GitHub profile, you will be seeing a repository called as um, NLP deployment Heroku. So I have basically uploaded all the files over here. Two files that you have to take care when you are deploying it in Heroku. One is something called as proc file and the other one is something called as requirement.txt. Now this two file plays a very important role. Let me just show you. So if I open the proc file, proc file basically indicates that from which file the execution of the flask app should get started, right? So over here, you can see that my flask app is getting started at app.py, right? So inside this app.py, I have renamed my flask app as app itself. Okay. So app.py and app. So what, how you have to write the proc file is that you basically have to use this web g unicorn app is equal to app app is equal to app basically means inside my app.py i'm going to use this app variable okay so that is what is my flask uh, web app name okay so after i do this after i do this the next thing is that requirement.txt and remember guys this is also a very important thing in requirement.txt you have to make sure that whichever library you are having you have to mention it all over here okay because if I give this requirement.txt and if I deploy it in Heroku, Heroku will first go and see what all libraries it has dependency on. Since it is platform as a service, so what it will do is that it will install all these libraries first and after installing the libraries, it will execute the code and it will deploy it in the cloud. Okay. 
So make sure that you have these two file. One is proc file and one is requirement.txt. All the remaining files like my pkl, transform.pkl, spam.csv, everything I have basically deployed. I have basically put over here. Apart from that, you should also have your proc file and your requirement.txt. Now we'll go back to our NLP test model. Over here, what I'll do is that I will go and search my GitHub repo. So my GitHub repo is basically NLP and it is saying as deployment. So let me just search this one. So after I search it, you can see that it is uh, it is giving me this and this is the NLP deployment Heroku. I'll just connect to it. And all you have to do is that you can also do an NML automatic deploys. That basically means any changes that you have put up in the GitHub automatically it will deploy it. But currently we'll just focus on deploying the branch. So now you see that once I do the deployment of the branch, it will take some time to install all the libraries. So here you can basically see that my libraries are getting installed and here you have Python 3.6.9, Python uh, installing pip, SQLite 3, all the necessary libraries that I have specified in requirement.txt will get installed. It will take a couple of minutes. You can see that how it is getting downloaded. Once it is downloaded, automatically the whole code will get deployed to the uh, to the cloud and it will also give you a URL where you can basically access it. And if I and after this, you can also I'll, I'll provide you the link uh, in the description box so that you can basically check it out and you can also see whether it is working perfect or not. OK, and uh, if you see the accuracy, the accuracy that that spam.csv file was a very small file. So, uh, you know, you can basically use that. And again, uh, uh, the accuracy that I, I had got somewhere around 90 to 93 percent. So I think it is uh, based on that particular CSV file. It will give us a very good uh, output. So let us wait. And let us wait till the deployment happens. Uh, again, it will just take a couple of minutes. So almost done. Um, so after this, you will be able to see a link that will be provided to you so that you can access the URL and can be accessed globally. So a small amount of POCs, you can directly do it. Use Heroku to do the deployment. Okay. Now, still a little bit part is left. It is just launching. Let's see how much time it will take. Okay. Now it is done. If I, if I want to basically see the app, you can just click on view and here is your model that is hosted. And remember guys, this is your URL. Even you can basically access it. Just to try to retrieve this URL and try to check it out. So let me just check it again and let her verify whether it is working or not. The credit card is the credit card you won. Okay. So I'll just do the predict. It says, okay, not a spam. It's a ham. Let us see some more example because whenever we say that credit card, okay, so I'll just write again, credit card, thousand dollars. Okay. Let us do the predict. So it shows us a spam. This time it has worked properly. Again, uh, if you have huge amount of data, it will definitely work. So I'll say, hello world. How are you? And let us predict. So it says it's a ham, right? So this is how you can basically do it, guys. And again, I'll be providing you all the details. Please go and go ahead and do it. Try to develop more complicated NLP model if you can. And this is just for your purpose, like how deployment can be done. And it is very important that everybody knows this technique. Uh, in the future classes, I'll also come with deployment of deep learning models. After that, we'll be moving into AWS EC2 instance. Okay. I hope you like this particular video. Please do subscribe the channel if you are not already subscribed. I'll see you all in the next video. Have a great day ahead. Thank you one and all.